So uh, the multiverse is a really interesting extension of um, what we call inflation theory. Um, so right after the Big Bang, um, the majority of um, theories about how our universe was formed requires a very rapid period of inflation in the very, very early universe. Um, and there are many, many different models for how this very rapid period of inflation could have occurred. But the majority of these models are called chaotic inflation theory models. And they predict that not just one universe would be created, that multiple universes would be created. Um, and this lends itself to the, to the idea of there being a, a multiverse. Um, you can kind of, I, I like to imagine um, blowing bubbles, and there just being lots of bubbles of different shapes and different sizes around. That's kind of your, this, this idea of there being multiple universes in, in space. Um, when I first started thinking about the multiverse, I really didn't like it because I thought uh, this isn't a theory I can test because I, I physically can't see anything outside my own observable universe. Um, and uh, I think I said at the, at the start, there's no point in coming up with a theory if you can't test it. Um, but actually, we can test these theories of inflation. So if we, we, can, we can test theories, and if they make a prediction that a multiverse is the consequence of that theory, then that's a great way of actually testing this idea of, of there being multiple universes out there. Um, so we can test these inflation theories. Um, in the very early universe, when the, the universe experienced this period of rapid inflation, that would imprint um, gravitational waves. So it's an incredibly um, powerful event that you should still be able to see the ripples of now in, uh, in gravitational waves. Now, there's been the first detection of gravitational waves recently. Um, this is not my area of work. It's absolutely phenomenal what these scientists have managed to do. And so it's just giving them time now to improve their instrumentation, their technology, so we can get down to the sort of levels where we'll be able to see the remnants of this rapid period of inflation. And then you can really test these models. Are these chaotic inflation models the way to go? Does that? really infer that there are multiple universes out there. And so what would be your next research project? My next research project is super duper exciting. Uh, it's called the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. Um, it is a, a 10 metre telescope in a uh, mountaintop in Chile, in the Atacama Desert. It is one of the driest places in the world. If you ever go there, you're like constantly putting Vaseline on your lips. <laughs> it's so dry. Um, and that's because you want your telescope to always be able to see the heavens, so there's the, you're, you're either above the clouds or there are no clouds to be had. Oh, it's the most amazing sight um, when you're there. If you go out at night and let your eyes get dark adapted, it takes about 10 minutes. Um, and you look up at the night sky, it, it's bright. <laughs> it's the funniest thing because everywhere you look, there are stars because it's just that clear and that dark. And just, if you let your eyes adapt, you can just see stars everywhere. Uh, it's the most amazing sight. Now, this telescope is going to be surveying the universe. For, for 10 years, it's going to do nothing else, just take image the sky, image the sky, do it again and again and again, and you build up that really deep image. So we're going to be looking back to the universe um, only a couple of billion years after the Big Bang. We're going to be able to look that far back. Um, also, this technique of just looking again and again, night after night, we're also going to be able to see things that move. Uh, so we're going to find the killer asteroids that might one day obliterate planet Earth. Got that covered. Uh, that's not my research area, but I'm, I'm happy that we've got that covered. Um, and what I'll be doing with this data is, uh, because it's so deep, we'll be able to use those techniques I was talking about to map out the dark matter. We're going to be able to see how that dark matter is changing and evolving with time so we can confront these different dark energy theories. I'm um, going to combine it in with other data of how um, galaxies are moving in these environments so we can also test gravity theories. Um, it's going to be an exquisite data set, so watch out for that over the next 10 years uh, as it builds up its data in this amazing um, image of the universe. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.